Right now I'm at the church where St. John the Baptist was born as part of the very, very strong tradition of the church. Uh, it's not something that's been archaeologically verified, but nevertheless it is a place of a powerful pilgrimage uh, in honor of St. John the Baptist. And we remember the story of, uh, of how the angel Gabriel appeared uh, to Zechariah and said to him that he and his wife uh, would bear a child, uh, Elizabeth would, would bear a child, and that his name would be John, and that he would be the prophet of the Most High, uh, the one who would precede Jesus, the one, uh, the voice crying out into the desert. And so that's this is the church uh, where uh, we honor the location, uh, or actually we honor St. John the Baptist by placing a locale here where many believe he was born. And it's a very beautiful place. We also, today, just before we got here, uh, we went to the place of the visitation where Mary visited her cousin St. Elizabeth shortly after uh, receiving the news that it was God's will that she would be uh, the mother of the Savior Jesus and the first thing that she did was she went to go visit her cousin St. Elizabeth after hearing from the angel Gabriel that she was with child and that she was already six months pregnant, pregnant and in the words of the angel Gabriel nothing will be impossible for God so we see a, a, a deep richness of our Lord who is not to be uh, limited in his generosity but just continues to place miracle upon miracle and, uh, and he does that uh, through St. John the Baptist. I'll continue to keep you updated as we continue our journey in the Holy Land. God bless.